Welcome back, everybody. In this uh, Youth Month, we try to unearth young people doing amazing work. And one such is Vukazi Danisa Baloy. She's a 21-year-old honors mining engineering student at the University of Pretoria who self-published a book entitled Powered to Empower, has already sold 500 copies since April. Uh, she joins us in studio to tell us a little bit more about her work. Good to have you on the program. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you, Lynn. Look at this, 21 years old, and you already have published your own book. I mean, yeah. this is, that's determination. Now, what, why a book? What made you want to do this? Um, in my high school, we were given opportunities to do anything that we wanted. I was part of the sporting activities and I was academically sound, but then I wanted something that would make me stand out. So I started writing motivational speeches and that's where my journey of writing actually began. And after writing, I would always present them. They would give me an opportunity and a platform to present them at school and I would have them presented. And when I moved to varsity, I realized that I can actually turn all my compilation into a book. And yeah. it was in my second year where I decided to just turn everything into a book and I started writing a book. That is fantastic. So the, the title of the book is Powered to Empower. Yes. Talk to me a little bit about this. What is, what is it all about? Okay, the book is themed around excellence. I believe I am an example of excellence because of what I've managed to achieve at a very young age. So the book is targeted to young people out there to tell them that unless you are powered, you cannot empower someone else yeah. out there. You, you need to have a background of excellence in order for you to empower someone. So my background actually tells a story because in my um, high school, in my metric, I managed to score seven, seven, seven distinctions. Seven distinctions. Yes, and when I moved to varsity in my second year, I managed to be the top second year student in mining engineering. My third year, I managed to be the birth first third year um, student in geology and I've been recognized as one of the golden key members. So I tell my story of, excellent, uh, of excellence and how everyone is capable of achieving excellence throughout their aspects of life. That is absolutely fantastic. Well done. Thank I mean, that is such a, it's such a great thing and it's so nice to see the youth um, that are, that are, that are because you know, this year we've seen so many problems and issues facing the youth and last year. Mm. Um, it's been very, very tough turning on the television, seeing university students uh, going out onto the streets, striking, um, wanting to, well, not striking, we should say protesting against what they believe is unfair against them. Mm. And yet there are these students like yourself that are, that are saying, you know, we need to empower ourselves as well. Exactly. We can't leave it up to everybody else. Mm. And you're doing engineering as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, is that, is that the ultimate? Would you love to eventually move into that area? I would love to move into engineering but then I wouldn't want to forsake my passion. I would move into engineering and further my, my, my degree and become a, and have a doctorate and obtain my doctorate in mining engineering yeah. because I want to venture into research. Looking at the current conditions in the mining industry, you would say there's no future for mining, but I believe if we have young people people like me who want to go into research and find out new and innovative ways to mine and to extract the minerals, then we're good to go as a country. So I would yeah. still want to venture into mining, but not forsake what I've always loved to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. terms of, in terms of, I know we were reading one of your, your greatest wishes and something that you really want to do yeah. is to engage with, with the youth at a grade 12 level. Yeah. Why do you find that that's important? I mean, is that, is that for you one of the most formative years where it's that path that you want to intercept and say, look, make that right decision. Exactly, because when I was in my high school, I, I, I think I was not given an opportunity to learn so much stuff that would have helped me in my varsity. Things like leadership. You, you need to have the spirit of leadership in order for you to advance further when you go to varsity. You need to know that you're doing it for yourself and not for your parents eventually. Yeah. And the moment you know that, then you know that you are responsible for all the um, decisions that you make out there. So if I am given an opportunity to talk to the grade 12 students, I would definitely tell them that they are the generation they've been waiting for. And if they want to move into the industry or into varsity to 
look to, 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 to study and wait for somebody else to hire them, then that's not the future for South yeah. Africa. They should be people that are hiring other people out there. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah absolutely. Um, you, you, your book is available. Where, where, where do people, if they would like to get a copy of it, where, where do you go to get some? Okay. You've already sold 500, so you're doing a good job so far. <laughs> But where can they get copies? Okay, I'm I'm only the I'm the only person who has the book so okay. far. I've not uh, taken it to different stores. Yeah. So if they want the book, they'll have to connect with me and. Um should I give you the contact? Please, you best <laughs> do that. How do we connect with you? Okay, um, anyone who wants the book can email me at info at danisabaloyi.co.za. Okay. Or um, get me on my cell number, which is 072. Whoa, don't do that. I shouldn't. I am going to stop you right there. <laughs> do not put your cell phone number on television. <laughs> okay. That's rule number one. Okay. You're an angel. Well. We don't want to do that to you. <laughs> um, I'd rather, rather just put this out. And I think you've also got a Facebook page I was reading here at the back of the book. Do you have, so you can go on Facebook and look for Denisa Baloy. Yes. And then it's, it's actually a different Baloy on Facebook. It's uh, spelled out B A R. L O U Y. Okay, okay, yes. very different. Okay, so <laughs> so it's info at denisabeloy.co.za. Yes. That's the uh, the email address. You can get hold of Denise if you'd like to get a copy of this. Uh, and uh, yeah, 500 copies sold already. So listen to the views of this 21 year old who's already uh, self published her own book. She's studying mining engineering as well. She's in her fourth year at the University of Pretoria. So we're focusing in on the youth, seeing what they're doing out there, and some extraordinary youth uh, or members of the, the, the youth that have, uh, have gone above and beyond, and I think you're one of them. So thanks so much for being with us here on the program. Thank you. Well done. All right, let's take a break here on the program. When we return...